1650, lowest common answer of a binary tree, three. <clears throat> so in this problem, you're given two nodes of a binary tree. Um, that's in the method signature here. So you're given node P and node Q. And so the definition of a node is you have access to a value, you have access to uh, the left node from this specific node and the right node, and you also have access to the parent. So in this example, um, when you are given this problem, you're not given the root of the tree, you're given um, node five and you're given node one. And so you are to output three because um, the lowest common ancestor of five and one is three. And in the same here, you're given um, P equals five and Q equals four. So um, the lowest common ancestor is actually five because that is going to be the node and also its ancestors. So that's going to be the node that you return. And then um, for a root, one, two, the output is going to be one because um, one is related to two. Okay, um, so this problem is fairly straightforward and it's different than uh, the previous low and co lowest common ancestor because you're not given the root, you're only given the leaves. And so to answer this problem, what we are going to use is a hash set. And so for that hash set, um, first add P. If P has a parent, add that parent. And so this will go all the way up into the root uh, until you reach null, which means you reach the root. Um, and then the second thing you're going to do is now say, is Q in this hash set? Uh, if yes, return Q. If not, um, set, um, if not, you're gonna set Q to the parent, but like look to Q's parent all the way until you reach null. Um, <clears throat> So we could take a look at what this looks like uh, visually. Let's take this input as an example. So on the left is a binary tree that we're given, and on the right is the P, which is the seven node, and the Q, which is the nine node. So let's make a hash set. <clears throat> and so in this example, uh, we are going to be looking for the three as the lowest common ancestor. So let's start our loop and we're going to say if P is not equal to null, so we have seven here, um, add P into this hash set and then we're going to set, so we'll add P to the hash set, so that will add seven to the hash set and then we're going to set P to be its parent. So the parent is going to be eight. <clears throat> now p is eight and we're going to go back around and we're going to say if p is not equal to null add p which is now eight to the hash set so we're going to add eight to the hash set and now we're going to set p to be its parent so p is going to be equal to three and then we're going to go back around and we'll say if p is not equal to null and it's not we're going to add p which is three to the hash set and now we are going to set P to equal its parent. So P is going to be equal to four. And if P is not null, which it isn't, it's four, we're going to add P, which is four, to the hash set. So now four is in the hash set. And we're going to set P to be its parent. So P is the root now and the root's parent is null. So P is equal to null. And we're gonna go back around and we're gonna say if P is not equal to null, and it is equal to null. So right there, it is going to break. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, so that while loop is broken right at that point. So next we are going to code um, Q and we're going to say, is Q in this hash set? If it's not in the hash set, then Q is going to be set to be its parent. So first we have Q, which is given to us. So Q is equal to nine. So we're going to say if nine is not in the hash set, <clears throat> We're going to say nine, uh, q, which is 9, is going to be equal to its parent. So we're going to say q is now equal to 1. Then we are going to go back around and we're going to say <clears throat> if 1 is not in the hash set, which it isn't, we're going to say q, <clears throat> which is 1, is going to equal to 1's parent which is going to be three. And now it's, if three is not in the hash set, and uh, oops, it actually is in the hash set. So it's right there in the hash set. So this is going to be what we are going to return. So we're going to just do uh, return three. So it broke at that point when we're saying, oh, it's not in the hash set. Uh, so that is going to be what we return. And then we can just uh, code this like this. So we're going to take create a hash set. And the hash set is going to have these nodes in it. So um, first add P. If P has a parent, add that parent. OK? so. We're going to do a while loop here. We're going to say while p is not null, while p, we are not at the root, we're going to add p. And then we're going to say p is p parent. And so how do I know I can access this parent? Again, because in this definition for a node, I have access to the parent here. So I can just find that parent. So P is no longer P. P is going to be its parent, and then it's going to break once it reaches nulls. Um, and then we'll say here, while um, Q is not in this hash set, Q equals Q parent. And then this is going to break once Q is found in that hash set. And so then we are just going to return Q. Um, so let me just move this back. And submit. And this actually has a pretty fast runtime and a pretty good memory usage. And this is the complete code in case you need to see it again. And that's it. Okay, thank you.